Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, a ton of DIY projects, such as this drip feed waste oil system, start now by subscribing and click on that bell notification so you don't miss anything. If you're already a subscriber, thanks very much, great having you here. Okay, here we go. So today I'm going to show you how I make this. This is a drip feed system out of some plumbing fittings I have on site here. So I didn't have to go out and buy them, I just made them out of what was in the box. So it's a one inch T-piece, uh, inch by half inch connection, another inch by half inch connection because I want to come in a half inch and go out in a half inch but I want to be able to see what's happening. So you can see me through the hole there um, in this fitting and the reason for that is so you can see the oil dripping through the system. Now there's a way of doing it, um, it comes in this way, you know the oil down through the, the gate valve, gate valve meters the amount of oil coming in, it's got a modification to it which I'll show in another video and if you look through my playlist you'll see how I've done it, I've done it before. Anyway, this is going on the new waste oil boiler so that we can produce a ton of hot water. So for this particular ton dish, this oil filler system, sighting if you like, you know, so that you can see through and see the oil flow, um, I'm going to do a job on this. I'm going to cut the, the branch off this, I'm going to drill a hole in the back, very easy, and you'll see why in a minute. Here we go. So put it in this way up, and I'm just going to tighten that and we'll stick a hole in the back. Now I'm going to get some safety glasses and we'll start this. Here we go. Oh, now that drill bit's not in correctly. So let's fix that. Okay, it's, it wasn't seated properly, so I'll just do that now. Okay, here we go again. Right, so okay, went through very easy, not like drilling the steel the floor the other night. Okay, so there's a nice tidy hole in that. You can see me through it, okay? And if there's oil dripping through that, you'll see that as well. So that's why I put the hole in the back. It'll never be used as a plumbing fitting again, ever. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Right, so I'm gonna cut the branch off this now. I'll do it with a little angle grinder. And again, it just gets your, your vision in tighter, you know, to where you can see the stream. You know, I want, it, it's, it's great to be able to know how much oil is going in, it really is. Okay, here we go. So the plan is to take the branch off this T-piece. We're only going to use the top and bottom. We don't need the branch except to look through. So I'm just going to make it easier to look through. That's all. Here we go. Okay, I could do it with a fresh battery again. Okay, let's rob the battery out of the drill. Let's go again. Okay, so that's it. I'll just tidy this up in a minute, but you can see the branch is gone, and you can see my finger at the back of it. Okay, I'll just show this on the other camera. So I've taken most of the branch off. I'm gonna tidy up the edges now. And, you know, you can see my finger at the back of it. That's it. If the oil was dripping through here, you know, you're gonna see it. So that's all we're doing. You know, I had this on site, which is why I'm using it. And um, as I say, I'm just gonna tidy up the edges. I missed the back of it, I went through it a bit of an angle. So we'll sort that out now, and, uh, and that's it done. Very easy. I have to be careful not to damage the existing threads because we need them for seal. So here we go, there's our T-piece with our fresh viewing eye in it, as you can see. There's a small piece of pipe with a nut and ring. 
Okay, one is already compressed, it's old pipe, it's pre-used, you know, so we're getting second use out of it. Recycling. So there we go, we put a nut on the pipe, put a ring, compression ring, over that. And that goes into the straight coupling, like this. Okay, so what that does now, is if I turn it around, half inch this side, and put it in, that allows me to put half inch in here, and travel through with some pipe. Now we need to do a bit of a manoeuvre. Um, I'll show you the manoeuvre first. I need for pipe, this fitting was designed so that when you push pipe in, it stops and doesn't go through the fitting. You know, and you tighten down your nut and ring and make your compression uh, joint then. What I need to happen is I need for the pipe to go all the way through. Um, I'll show you why now. So here we go, let's do that. So I've just moved the cameras, hopefully you can see everything. There's a stop in there that stops the pipe pushing all the way through that fitting. I want to remove that stop without damaging the fitting. So I'm going to go, go through the back and I'm going to drill out a small section. Now look, there's millions of ways of making a drip feed oil system. Um, this is just one. And again, I'm just working with what I have here in the shed workshop. Let me just see if that goes down far enough. I'm just going to raise the table here. Okay, tighten that. All right. Let's get some safety glasses. Okay, let's go in a bit. Now, I just want to check that. Almost. Next step on this will do it. Remember, we're just going in through the back. I just want to line it up square. Nice and flat. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now that's done it. Let's see if you can see it on this camera. Okay, maybe you can see a step in there. Okay, what I've done is I've drilled out the stop. So let's see. Got some half inch pipe. It should go all the way through. Look at that. That's great. All right, it's exactly what we want. Now remember, when it was brand new, you could put your pipe in and it would stop there, you tighten up your nut and ring and you couldn't push it in any further. I actually wanted to go through like this. Okay, so we've modified the fitting with just a stepper drill. You could do that with a um, you know, battery drill. You don't need a pillar drill to do this. So let's assemble the whole thing. There's our small piece of pipe, nut and ring on one end. There's another nut and ring on the far end. Choose an end of this thing. This is the T-piece we drilled earlier. Okay, it would be easier if I actually compressed these. But uh, just to show you the setup. Okay, so there we go. We just got a nut and ring and another one ready to accept the top fitting. Top fitting goes on, we tighten that compression nut. Now, there's a piece of half inch pipe. Nut on the pipe. Now the ring on the pipe. Okay. And it goes into the top of our fitting. So look. Now, I should really compress all this, and I will in a minute. So the reason for me drilling out that this fitting as well, the back of it, was can you see the pipe? I want the pipe to go just to there so that when it drips or when the oil comes out of it, it doesn't run around the inside of this fitting. So if I drop in oil at the top of it, it'll just run down the fitting and go around the walls of the fitting and you won't see it drip. But by pushing the pipe in like this, and you know, leaving at that, I can watch where the pipe is and then watch the oil come out of the pipe and I can withdraw it a bit, you know, maybe like this. Then I will see the full drip or flow, you know, stream of the, the oil as it goes through. So that's it, I just need to compress that. The, uh, the, the fitting that goes onto the bottom of this guy will be the same as one of these inch by half inch compression fitting, like this. You know, and it'll go like that and we're back onto half inch again. So that's the plan. I'll make this all up and I'll show you. Now you've seen how it's, it's kind of put together. Now I'm going to make it all up and it'll look 
it will make more sense. Here we go. So there's the pipe, you know, just in view, and anything that comes out of it you'll see fall. It goes in this direction. There's, so we're just talking two fittings, okay, so far, and a small piece of copper pipe. There's a nut and a ring, just tap down the ring. Here's a half inch gate valve. Now, there we go. There's our drip feed system now. Okay, so you can see my finger. We have the oil coming, we have the oil coming down this way. We have a sighting window. The oil comes out of this valve, goes down through the piece of pipe, all the way to here. It doesn't actually run down the inside walls of the fittings whatsoever. So look, there's a piece of pipe with a nut and ring on it. So I need to cut a short piece off, enough to allow another nut and ring to go on that. And uh, this is a pipe slice. So I just put that on there. And I'm just guessing it. There's no, nobody cares like what this looks like. But it'll be all right, there'll be nothing wrong with it. So, that's it, tube cutter. All right, so we've got maybe, I don't know, two and a half inches of, of pipe, one inch pipe there. So, now there's a nut and ring, so there's the compression ring. So we put the nut on first. There we go, put the ring on. Okay, so we throw that. There's our assembly. We'll put that in here. Like that. And I'll compress this now so that we can do something with it. So I'll just put it in the vise for a second. And if you can see this, can you see me? Yeah, so I'm just going to compress it. Okay. So now we've got a nut and ring, so I don't need that ring or nut because we've got a nut and ring already on the pipe. So I'll put that on, tighten up the nut. And that's it, that's our setup now, that's our filler system done. So we just have to drop it's a half inch pipe here going up to our bucket or wherever the reservoir is, down through this. We can drip the oil in, I'll do a maneuver on the valve. So I've already done a video on how I prep the valves, you know, for drip feed system. There's it kind of a thing you do with the inside of it. Some of the lads told me a couple of years ago how to do it, and it's great. It's just cut a little V-groove, but not all the way through. So I have a video in the playlist. I'll link it up here, and um, you can follow that and see how it's done. Um, but anyway, kind of a mod on the, uh, the gate valve, and that's it. That's our filler system. That's going to go half inch all the way down into the, uh, into the burner. So that's it. It's a bit long-winded. I, I think the one on the other system is a lot smaller. But um, anyway, that's it. It will work. And I've made it up out of what's in the, you know, in the shed. Same as a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so look, I'm going to leave it at that for tonight. That's our filler system. If you like the video, please thumbs up. Subscribe down here. If you've been here before and you've subscribed, thanks very much. It's great having you around. But this boiler stove is going to, um, going to really work well. It's not going to be too efficient. I have more efficient ways of doing it. The one after this will be a commercially modified um, boiler. And, I, you know, we'll get to that in due course. But at the moment, anyway, try and get this going tomorrow. So there you go. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck. Mm -hmm.